Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy and I'm going to start by saying did you notice our awesome new title screen? Today we're going to talk about ceiling dependent and ceiling independent diffusers. A lot of buildings have open ceiling designs these days. In a typical building with a ceiling, the diffusers are mounted flush to the ceiling so they line up with the ceiling grid. In an open ceiling system, the diffusers and ductwork are exposed overhead. In the podcast on throw a couple weeks ago, I discussed how a ceiling affects the throw of a diffuser and I briefly mentioned drop. So let's do a quick refresher. This is a little bit big, let me make it a little smaller. The throw moves in the direction away from the diffuser and then the drop is how it falls off the ceiling. In the throw podcast, I didn't discuss what makes the airflow across the ceiling in the first place, so let's look at that now. As the air leaves the diffuser, it creates a low pressure zone right here at the edge of the diffuser where the diffuser meets the ceiling. This low pressure zone creates an effect called the Coanda effect. This essentially makes the airflow stick to the ceiling. It increases the throw of the diffuser along the ceiling. Now let's say if we didn't have a ceiling, let's get rid of the ceiling here, the airflow would kind of come out like this because there'd be no low pressure zone. It would just come out at the angle it leaves the diffuser. So how do you maintain an air pattern without a ceiling? Well diffusers that perform well in no ceiling applications create low pressure zones inside their back pan. Let's take a minute to look at a couple of diffuser back pans. Let's start with the TDC which is one of our very common diffusers. The back pan kind of has an angle like this. If you have a ceiling, the airflow looks kind of like this, like before, and you have this little low pressure zone right at the edge of the diffuser where it meets the ceiling. The other side, there is no ceiling, so in this case, the air would come out pretty much at the angle that leaves the diffuser. There's no low pressure zone to hold the air against the ceiling. Now if we look at the back pan of our TMS, another popular diffuser, it looks kind of like this with these little corners. The Omni also has a back pan like this. This little corner creates an internal coanda pocket where you have a low pressure zone inside the diffuser. So as the air leaves this diffuser, this low pressure zone pulls the air up and maintains a ceiling-like pattern without the ceiling. This is called a ceiling independent diffuser. And then the TDC, or this type of diffuser up here, is ceiling dependent. So you need to remember that if you have an open ceiling, you need to select a ceiling independent diffuser to maintain the air pattern and allow the diffuser to perform the way it should for optimal mixing and comfort. So that covers ceiling dependence and ceiling independence. Thanks for taking a time out with us.